is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I have kind of a fun layout for you. So this was inspired by a layout from um, Janet Fritz, who is Galaxy Girl over here on YouTube. So I will try to link her channel down below. So this is kind of a scrap lift-ish of a layout she did when we were at retreat. So the big thing is with the curling. So I'll explain that in just a minute. But so my plan is to kind of make a peekaboo uh, spot for my photo. So I went ahead and traced my photo on the back of the paper and drew an X and now I am um, going to fold it up. Now this is the part that I kind of screwed up on. I realized I did not want it to be white on the back side. So what I needed to do was to actually adhere this pattern paper bigger than the square, the initial square, and then draw my square and then cut it. Would have been way better, but you get to watch me struggle. So. Here I am thinking, okay, it needs to be the size of the square. And then I'm like, how am I going to cut this? I was like, well, it's the same size. So I should be able to just cut it half on half and it, it should just fit, right? Um, it doesn't. I, 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 I can't do triangles, you guys. Like, I, I can't. I can't cut triangles well. I don't know what happened. Um, I think part of it is that piece doesn't go on that piece and I did not make you watch me struggle. So here they are all adhered. I did have to trim them down because they don't fit. And then as I am trying to fold it over, the paper tears and the piece that I have added to the back is trying to poke up because it's not long enough to stay under there. So I am really like pushing and tearing. I'm like, oh, this is not working out how I wanted. Um, but see how cute it is with the photo in there kind of peeking out. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this work. So I am going to start by using some glue dots and just adhering the little triangles down there's my huge tear, um, and there will be something going over that to prevent that from showing, but I was bound and determined to make this work. Like, I'm like, this, this is going to happen. <laughs> so, um, glue dots for each side, and then I am going to flip it over and I'm just going to take some washi tape and put it on the back. So the idea behind this is I'm just trying to prevent um, that pattern paper that I attached to the triangles from like peeking through. So I'm going to do that all the way around the square and then it will also kind of hold that um, part of the paper that I tore um, to hopefully prevent it from tearing some more. So I'm a terrible washi taperer um, on the back, as you can see, like none of that is, is good. And like some of it is even showing. So I'm like shoving it back in there. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, well, that's just going to be how it's going to be. So I like my photo in there, so I'm actually going to attach my photo with more washi tape um, since I wasn't quite sure how I was going to attach it because it is just about exactly the same size. So now that I have all of this washi tape to the back, um, I think it's going to work, but um, 
I am going to start embellishing and I will let you know, and I'm not sure if I did this on camera or not, but I am going to back the whole piece of paper with another piece of paper because I felt like it just, it was going to hold the picture in there better and, um, like I didn't feel like it was going to fall apart. Like at this point I'm feeling like it's not very secure with those pieces of washi tape. So I am going through my ephemera pack and I absolutely love this little spinner thing and I want to get it on a layout and sadly enough it doesn't make it on this layout either. So I am thinking at this point my title is going to be totally awesome with that black and that um, awesome die cut piece. Now that awesome die cut piece, yes, its true purpose is not just for titling. It is for covering up the big rip in the paper. <laughs> so I'm trying to decide if I want to bring in some of that orange because there is kind of that orangey color in the in the photo and the the photo has kind of an orangey hue to it um so i am okay with adding that amber sand but i do feel like i need um, some more orange so that's where this little token is going to come in plus there's a little bit of orange in that awesome part up there at the top and I felt like since he was playing it was good that I got some of those dominoes in and that brings in some more of the black as well now because of the folded paper I do have to pop up half of that on on with some foam and I will do that as well for that other token there and now I am just adding the few extra embellishments. So they are all from this ephemera pack. I am not bringing in anything else, I believe. Um, so just adhering it down. I seem to be in love with a diagonal design lately um, without even knowing it. I seem to be working on that. So here is an Amy Tan clear sticker that's kind of like a paintbrush stroke and so I'm going to add that. So now I have orange really in three different spots and I am going to take this black piece if I can ever get it off of the sticker sheet um, which you can see I am struggling with <laughs> and I believe I finally just give up and leave the backing on and apply some glue and that brings in black in another spot. So this little blue dot I was actually able to um, get off so that clear sticker goes on and then I add this orange and black doodly piece down here to the bottom cluster and I'm super excited about using these clear stickers because there's not a ton left on there like I really felt like I can do this I want to get some more of it off same with um, this sticker sheet from Chamel it's it's getting pretty close to being done too so I'm going to add that banner place that says getting there to go with the one that says going places and then I am looking to see if there's maybe another chipboard piece that I want and I do end up with this so fun so 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 fun and then since I had kind of brought in that reddish color, um, I felt like I needed to bring it in um, up at the top, which is kind of more of a purpley red. So that's why um, it goes in that purple spot. Not really sure that I'm totally loving it now that I'm looking at it on camera. Um, and then there was another domino piece. So I went ahead and added that from the sticker sheet. 
and that is pretty much going to do it. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure you are following along with everybody who is playing with How to Kill a Kit with Style, and I hope you are killing your kits or using up your stash, um, whatever you're doing. I'd love to hear from you. So if you have any questions, leave them down below, and we will see you next time. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.